Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us? Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. Crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. You still don't remember, do you, bloodkin? <laughs> My knife slit your skull. Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. This is the truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. Orin was your subordinate. You led the cultists of Baal and orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Husk, maggot. A ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the Murder Lord's blessing. My grandfather ruled this city. A slaughterhouse ripened for my blades. And you stole it! Enough! 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 The runt must be cold. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a jewel. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. You should have trained harder, master.
lost. You are the chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you. <laughs> of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. 
Death will not claim thee whilst I The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. You did it. You're free. I'm so God's damn proud of you. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. I know all, but to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary, and so are these times. Today thou art born anew. Happy birthday, soldier. Greet the bloodless dawn, child. Do not thank me. Trust in thy courage and the conviction of thy companions. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. a celebration. You did what you had to do to get yourself right. To choose the life you wanted to live. Very fucking proud of you, darling. Seriously. It was no easy thing, overcoming those urges that gripped you. I'm not sure I would have managed in your shoes. Well done. Good. I knew you had what it took to quieten your demons. I'd hate to have lost the real you. Well done again on besting Baal and all that. It was... very twee. Especially the part where that poor excuse for a skeleton waved his magic wand and made it all better. <laughs> Yes, you were so very scary. <laughs> I knew you had that sweet heart all along. I was alarmed by you sometimes, scandalized even. But somehow, by your side, I still only ever saw you. <laughs> 